this is surveillance video that CNN has been able to obtain. On that terrible day, last Wednesday, we know that the alleged gunman here, and that's Nicholas Cruz, spent about an hour and 10 minutes out in the community, wandering around after the shooting took place. So he was able to leave the grounds of the school around 2.28 in the afternoon with all the other terrified students. And then this video shows him at around 3 o'clock in the afternoon as he is crossing the street or heading in the direction of a McDonald's restaurant. So according to the Sheriff's Department here in the timeline they've released, after he left the school grounds, he went to a nearby Walmart store and then went inside, had a drink at a Subway sandwich shop, and then, according to this video as well, he walks over to the nearby McDonald's. He doesn't get anything in McDonald's, sits down for a while, then leaves. He's apprehended about 40 minutes later after this video timestamp. So that's what we know about his movements on the day. Something else CNN has obtained, and that's from the Florida Department of uh, Children and Families. This is a child welfare group, and they acknowledge that they went to Nicholas Cruz's home in September of 2016 after he posted something very disturbing on Snapchat. It essentially showed him cutting his arms and also saying that he wanted to buy a gun. That was deemed so disturbing and so serious that investigators went to the home, talked to his mother, talked to Nicholas, looked at the environment in which he was living, also talked to mental health workers that had been caring for him. After all of that, and it was an investigation of several months, they determined that he was a low risk of any danger to being harmful to either himself or anyone else. Not no risk, but a very low risk. So once again, it shows that all along there were red flags, but no direct action was taken. Bianca? And Martin, today is the first day that we've seen some roads open up in that area again. What are you seeing? Yeah, well, you can probably know there's just sort of this steady, slow passage of vehicles beside us here. This is the main road that goes right in front of the high school. And it's the first time that traffic has been allowed since the tragedy. It's also the first time that pedestrians, and you can see them coming many times with families. And some come to just look, bear witness, to see the school, to sort of acknowledge what they've heard so much about. Others are here and just sit and stare. There's also memorials that are opening up and starting, including uh, a selection of crosses that have been placed, one for every one of the victims from a terrible shooting.